I got a lot of comments about my bucket hat, my fluorescent bucket hat. Bought just a while ago. It might look goofy, but uh, it works. All right, good morning. We're back on the road. We're in Las Cruces, New Mexico. We're getting ready to go down to, uh, over to Clint, load up some ATVs. So I found one thing I'm not too good at. And <laughs> while I was at home, I tried to give poor Bailey a little haircut. <laughs> and it didn't go too well. So here's my little uh, temperature thing. It's 87. We'll, uh, look at the black top here. So it's already 95 degrees on the black top. Side of the truck is 103. So uh, temperature on the side of the truck is already 103. It's gonna be hot. But we got plenty of water. We got our fans going. The air conditioner is working good. So let's go get our load. All right, we just got loaded over here in El Paso or Clint. We're, uh, that's where we load at, it's inside there. We're kind of parked on the dead end down here. Um, we're going to uh, go outside and mark the uh, boxes. Only got two stops, so it's pretty good. I got a lot of comments about my bucket hat, my fluorescent bucket hat. Bought just a while ago. It might look goofy, but uh, it works. <laughs> yeah, I checked the temperature, it's 105 outside. So, all right, I got my big marker. I'm gonna go out. We only got two stops. So I only need to mark the one stop. And only one stop has four crates. So all I gotta do is go find four crates. Those four crates go to one place and then the rest of them are gonna go out. So, and once we get that done, we're gonna get out of here and head over across Texas. All right, we're coming into Van Horn, Texas. I'm gonna stop at the little Chevron fuel stop. They give me some burritos. They got the best little burritos. I don't know how far I'm going to drive today. There's a rest area by uh, Midland. It's like exit 60 something. From here it's about 110. A couple hours. I uh, actually kind of got an easy trip here. We're just gonna, uh, I got till Thursday, or excuse me, Tuesday to get to North Carolina. One of the dealers is uh, closed on Monday. So, uh, if we play a car drive, we'll deliver one on Monday. And then that way we can deliver the second one Tuesday morning. They uh, did remodel the inside of this little Chevron down there. I think they built another fuel stop the other end of town. But they ain't got no burritos. You gotta give me some burritos.
been a couple different things over time. This place ain't that busy. We'll park in the shade. We'll go park in the shade. Don't tell nobody. get my burritos figure out what else we're gonna do all right good morning I don't know where we're at we're in Midland Odessa we spent last night at a rest area but I stopped at this loves truck stop here exit 115 and I don't usually stop here because this place is a mess like right there I try not to complain about other drivers but that's the only driveway to get in here and they got all these empty parking spots right here there's some over there there's a whole bunch over there and those guys decide to swap the trailer right there in the driveway mm. frustrating uh, the reason I stopped here is there is a tractor supply like right behind me like right next to the loves here uh, I forgot to get a bag of dog food for Bailey while I was at home. So I like to carry an extra bag. She take uh, she goes through a bag of food about uh, every two or three weeks. So uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I like to have an extra bag in there. So I'm going to walk across the street, go get the dog food, and then... Uh, we'll All right, we bought our dog food. Thought I'd come over here to show you our load. I've loaded these many a times. Same thing. Strap. I run the strap up under and through the hole. I found this seems to work the best. Hold them nice and tight. Everything looks good. Then we'll walk back here. I'll show you the tractor supply. I do this sometimes so my hood doesn't stick out so far, depending on what the curb looks like and what's back here behind me. I'll pop. What I usually do is I let the air out of those airbags. And that way it's not so hard getting over that curb. There's tractor supply right there. They didn't have the exact dog food I wanted, so hopefully it does all right. This uh, this loves was wore out. I uh, I remember when they built this place. Oh, all right. Everything looks pretty good. Poor tires wearing funny. We got to work on that. The tires are wearing funny. All right. The other battery in the camera is dead. Or the other camera is dead. So, next stop, we're going to go to Abilene and stop, at, and stop at Walmart. All right, since we got some time to kill, we're over here in Big Springs, Texas, at what used to be Webb Air Force Base. Uh, my dad went to pilot training here, and I was born here. There's a rattle in the generator. It's kind of annoying. But this is an air museum, and uh, I've never been here. I've been wanting to stop here for a long time. And uh, this is actually on the old old Air Force Base and the runway is over that way right over there so uh, let's go inside walk around see what we can see all right all right we're inside the uh, hangar here at the little museum here at Webb Air Force Base so that's a t-38 trainer so my dad went to uh, pilot school here and uh, he flew one of these and then he flew one of these right here t-37 this right here and then I got the information up on the wall there 
and then there's a picture of both planes flying together. So I was talking to the, uh, the uh, young lady here, and she was telling me about the facility here. So this is an original hangar from World War II, uh, and this is actually Hangar 44, what used to be Hangar 44 on Webb Air Force Base. So, uh, and then these are the original doors, she said. So if you open those doors, the runway's right out there. But they got a nice little display in here, pretty good. So I think they did a lot of training and for World War II. So this is some of the planes. They did training. Look over here. This guy right here I was reading, so Colonel Grimes. He went to pilot school here, and then he was the last base commander here before they closed down Webb Air Force Base. That's another, another trainer. So I would ask her, I think these three right here are actually, I believe she said are functional, are complete. And I think this one is almost complete, doesn't have any engines. But uh, from what I understood, she was telling me these are complete over here. And they got some army stuff here. But nice little museum. Pretty interesting. I think uh, I think it's great that they uh, kept a little piece of history here. So uh, pretty cool. All right, we're coming into the little town of Merkel, and since. Since I've kind of wasted, I shouldn't say wasted, but since I've done other things today besides drive, let's go ahead and uh, do some other things. So I've never done this before. We're going to check out how easy it is. There is a little shop, uh, grocery store over here, and then there's a subway. Now, the grocery store didn't have enough parking. But the subway has got a dirt lot with some truck parking. So I'm going to park at the subway and then just walk over and get the couple items I need. Like I said, I don't need a whole bunch. But it is 4 o'clock here already. So... <laughs> So, uh, most of the day is already gone. Let's see how hard or easy this is. drive by here one time after it rained and this was a mud pit so it's a little dry right now all right I'm gonna run over to the store pick up a couple items and figure out what I'm going to do next. 
all right so I got my groceries at that little supermarket I really enjoyed that little supermarket it's pretty cool so they even had little shopping carts not the big regular size <laughs> I didn't buy a lot I just needed a couple things but I really enjoy it I might make that one of my regular stops there swing in there if I need a couple things pick up a couple things there at the that little uh, we're at a little fuel stop here we're in Santo Texas exit 386 little fuel stop um, did not get as far as I wanted to today um, we're about 15 miles from uh, Weatherford but that's okay uh, I had a lot of fun at that museum so that was pretty cool so today is Friday we'll end up over North Carolina on Sunday and then we'll deliver one of these on Monday and the other one on Tuesday um, man I don't have a reload freight is slow right now freight slow everywhere so we'll see how it goes but alright that's it We'll call it quits for today. Thanks for watching.